Hello and welcome, my beautiful vibrant souls, to today's pick a card reading because I forgot words for a sec. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, hi, welcome. So today's is going to be kind of a little bit different. I was going to do a different reading entirely, and then my guides are like, no, you're not. <laughs> you're doing this. Get into it. Um, so today's is going to be what needs to be cleaned up. Now, I will kind of issue sort of like a general kind of trigger warning in the sense that sometimes, you know, um, we are more open and receptive to constructive feedback than other times, and that's completely okay. So I would advise to not watch this reading unless you're really looking for guidance about something in your life that can be, um, you know, that could be improved upon or where, it, you know, this isn't meant to like gang up on you or be mean or anything like that. This is just some advice for what situation in your life could use a little bit of fine tuning so your life is running more smoothly, you're more in alignment, you feel better. This is in, meant to be for you in order to have a better experience. So this is kind of pointing you in the direction of what might need some attention, a little bit of tidying up, um, so on and so forth. So I just kind of want to put that out there. You never have to watch anything that you don't want to. So if you're not open to this advice right now, that is totally, completely, oh, that's a nice bird. Sorry, that is totally, completely okay. <laughs> Excuse me, all the birds outside my window are being like super social today. It is, it's a beautiful little bird ballet. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of good stuff happening. Spring has sprung. So today I am going to be utilizing the Housewife Tarot and as a result, I have picked cards from the Housewife Tarot to be the signifiers for each pile. So we have pile one with the Ace of Wands. Can you guys see that? Yeah. We have pile two with the Ten of Wands. And pile three with the Six of Wands. So take your time, meditate, contemplate upon the stacks in front of you, my love bugs. Um, when you have picked the pile that best resonates with your energy, um, head down to the timestamps in the description box below and that will take you to your selected option. And with that, I'm gonna start with group one. <clears throat> okie dokie. Hello group one. So with your ace of wands here, this is nice because this suggests that a new beginning, I feel like for many of you has recently started or you're like, a, you're, you're rolling into that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. There's something where I feel like, cause look how delicately this hand is holding the duster. It's like, oh no, I don't want to mess things up. Um, I feel like something that needs to be kind of fixed or cleaned up is uh, the confidence that you have in the action you're taking, right? Because this, again, feels like something that's recently begun for you, and I feel like this is almost like preemptive instead of like necessarily cleaning something up that's gone wrong. It's kind of like, okay, you know, to stay in good alignment, have more confidence in the action that you're taking. But we'll see what comes out for you. I will be pulling tarot as well. Um, from the rest of the deck, but that was just your signifier I wanted to talk about. So we have, oof, sorry, I'm sniffly. We have, oh, we have gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. Love it. <clears throat> we have, Domestic Harmony, okay. So this is card 46, that reduces to a 10 slash one. We have, oh, okay. Oh, we have Soulmates, and this is card 41, that reduces to a five. Wow, we have Time to Go, okay. 45, which reduces to a nine. and support okay um i'm gonna pull tarot in a second but i want to start with this a little bit of fuzz okay <clears throat> excuse me so for some of you i feel like you're getting okay for some of you you're getting the opportunity to move in with your soulmate um and i do feel like there is excitement about this maybe you just moved in together or you've just agreed to move in together um 
but you're you're moving into a new chapter with your soulmate and I do feel like this has to do with living arrangements so maybe you guys are making a big move in general maybe you guys are again for many of you moving in together um and I do feel like there is there is excitement or maybe there's initially excitement but there's a little bit of um hesitation or like tension so maybe you moved in together and then now you're kind of in that process of learning to live together um and there's like a little bit of you know with all the circles it's like there's a lot of moving parts right like things are different than you expected um <clears throat> excuse me yeah things are different than you expected and I feel like, cause we have a doorway at the end here, right? So this was like a portal that you had to go through. Um, and I feel like this is what you really wanted. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. This is what you really wanted, um, but there are difficult parts about it. And I feel like this is something where maybe you're kind of like struggling to, <coughs> excuse me, to put those two things together where it's like, oh shoot, I really wanted this, but I'm noticing, you know, maybe I don't have enough alone time to myself anymore or, um, you know, I, I love my person, but they do this, this and this and it's driving me crazy and I don't know how to deal with this. There just feels like there's some small things about like working out the kinks that are getting solved. And what your team really wants to say is that the, the best way to one of the best things to do to approach this is to approach it, <clears throat> approach your partner with a sense of or this situation with a sense of gratitude and approach any problems with a solutions focused mindset right so it's not like oh you know you do this and it drives me crazy as much as it is like okay this is something that you do and i it i end up feeling like this in response why do i feel like this and what is your intention and how do we how do we meet in the middle so we're both happy with the situation with support i do feel like you guys have a lot of support you guys have a lot of sh like shared spirit guides um, that are trying to help you gain insight and clarity at this time. Um, you know, even though this is the gratitude card, this man looks like he's praying and like, obviously you don't have to subscribe to the concept of prayer if you don't want to. Um, but if that's something that you like to do or, you know, meditating, connecting with your guides will help, will help you kind of gain insight about how to handle these situations. Now, for some of you, this hasn't happened yet because we have time to go, but she's not through the doorway yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so for some of you, you're preparing to move in together. You might be preparing to, cause this to me with time to go is always the end of a huge chapter and we have 10 slash one showing up here. Um, and we have a five. So there's a lot of changes going on and there's the end of a chapter, um, that's like imminent. You can see it happening, right? Um, so for some of you, this hasn't happened yet, but with all the circles, it's kind of like, there's a lot of cycles sort of, um, you know, shifting for you. And I feel like there's this like off kilter kind of feeling of like, I'm excited about this, but I'm also nervous. Um, <clears throat> and it's kind of like what I'm hearing is muddling your energy. So, you know, just from what we have in front of us straight off the bat, the best way to the best way to kind of clean up this situation to make sure your energy is as clear as possible because we do have this ace, this new beginning, is to try to really hold on to this excitement. Um, and even though it's hard, right, because when we let old chapters of our life go, even if we're happy for the, the new chapter and we're happy to let go of it, we do inevitably have to release a lot. We have the image of the world here, right? Um, so this is the image of you know, this is the symbol of really leveling up a huge new cycle. So for some of you, you're preparing to, um, you know, take this leap with a soulmate, which could involve, like I said, moving, moving in together, um, you know, making a big change in the house or in the family. Um, but there's this new chapter and it's like, there's a little bit of, a little bit of trepidation, like a little bit of hesitation um, when it comes to this, again, because it's very delicately holding us. <laughs> when it comes to this new chapter and your team is really just like wanting to let you know that a good way to kind of stay in good energy is really embracing the new, right? All, all cycles are, you know, all cycles end, all cycles begin. And so whatever is ending, it's making way for something much better. There's a lot of harmony coming in. There's a lot of love. Um, there's a lot of unlocking new emotional experiences, like new, Experiences that will unlock new frequencies of the heart is kind of what I'm getting. Um, and sometimes that can be a little bit of a challenging process, um, but it's it's good ultimately. Like it's not just because it's challenging in certain moments, it doesn't mean it was the wrong decision or you made a bad call because whatever is ending, I feel like, you know, with time to go, it was absolutely the right time, right? <clears throat> that cycle 
needed to end, that cycle needed to close, or it does need to close in order to make room for something better. So let's pull you guys some tarot. Um, I'm just shuffling really quick. The card's are actually small enough for me to shuffle on camera today, you guys. I am not good at that. Yeah, I split the deck and we have the Emperor and the Tower. So you might be dealing with an Aries. You could be an Aries. But there's something where this is a big shift. And again, I talk about this a lot. The Death card and the Tower, because this always reminds me of Death card energy. The Death card and the Tower are both about endings. But the Tower is like more of a sudden, like sharp left turn. And the Death card is more of a nor like a like a normal organic process. So there might be something where it feels a little bit sudden or it feels like there's a sudden shift, but you've actually been working up to it for a long time. Um, it's kind of what I'm getting here. And so with the emperor too, like you are in control of the situation. Yeah, cut the deck again, emperor and six of cups. This might have to do with children, um, with a childhood sweetheart, with a soulmate, somebody you have a past life relationship with. Um, leaving a family home, you might be leaving, like moving out and leaving your family for the first time. But this is a big shift and this is in order to get you on the next part of your path. Like this is, what I'm hearing is spiritually speaking, this is a very natural process and there's nothing to fear. I'll pull one more. I have one more card, Spirit, please and thank you. Come on, little buddies. Shuffling, not my strong suit. You guys are patient. Whoa, that's too many. Okay, so I did get the one extra card, but I'm gonna look. Three of Swords, High Priestess Reversed, King of Wands, more fire energy. Uh, so Aries, Leo, Sag, Page of Cups Reversed, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the World Reversed. Yeah, okay. Um, so there's a lot of there, there's the unknown, and it's becoming more apparent to you. And now there's like a little bit of fear of heartbreak with this ending that's coming up. Um, <clears throat> especially again, if there's anything having to do with family, having to do with children, your own childhood, um, your emotions might be kind of all over the place, but you planted these seeds and now they're sprouting and you are fully in control of your own, your own destiny. Um, like this is made for you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. So your cards are the five of pentacles reversed. <laughs> the Six of Cups. There we go. The Wheel of Fortune reverse. Okay. And the Page of Wands. I love it. Okay. So we have with the Page of Wands, we have Fire Energy. This would be Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, these are both cards that indicate something having to do with children or childhood. Can you see all that? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Love it. <clears throat> Just taking a sip of my coffee real quick. Oh, it's so good. Beautiful. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I'm getting first and foremost with the Wheel of Fortune, we have a 10. So again, a cycle is ending. Um, it is, you know, when it's upright, this is usually things moving in our favor. When it's reversed, this is things kind of not going our way. You may have been in this cycle where things were just sort of like really, really difficult. Um, and I'm really drawn to, hang on, let me make sure I'm looking at this right. Yeah, okay, so I was really drawn here to the 21 and the zero. This is like the world and the fool card, right? <clears throat> um, so you are, and we have a 13 right here, so this is like that death card energy. You are in this space of big time, huge endings and beginnings, and there is this transformation that's taking place. And I feel like this is difficult because, like, this is, this is feeling like, um, so with this, <clears throat> excuse me, with this energy, and when we cut the deck, we have the tower and we have time to go. Things may be shifting seemingly very, very quickly. Um, we have the broken plate here on the five of pentacles as well. So there might be a situation where it feels like something broke down and broke down very quickly. This may have been something that was with you since childhood or that, um, again, there's like childlike emotions about it. I don't mean childish, but childlike, right? There's attachment. There uh, might be inner child healing that you have done through this situation or with this person um, or that you have completed and that's what's making way for this new cycle to begin. But I do feel for many of you, this involves moving away from some dynamic from childhood because you have mastered that, right? And this is with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. I feel like this is, 
even whether, okay, let me back up, back up, Sanessa. Whether you were very aware of what this was or not, this was almost like limiting you or working against you, right? Because this is Jupiter energy, which is all about expansion. <clears throat> so whatever the cycle you've been in, actually, I want to pull a card for that. What is the cycle that this group has been in that's kept them limited, that they are moving out of? The Eight of Wands, okay. Interesting. Woof. Okay, so, wow. The Eight of Wands, the Moon, uh, the Seven of Pentacles reversed, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I could see that. So whatever this cycle is that you've been kept in, first of all, we have Cancer Pisces energy here. This could have to do with the Mother, with the Moon. <clears throat> I feel like this is something having to do with family or with um, people in your home, or if you live with family, then <laughs> it's the middle of that Venn diagram. But this is rooted in a childhood experience. And what this cycle was, was trying to move forward, especially really trying hard to communicate, I'm getting, right? And with all the cleaning supplies, it's like trying hard to communicate in such a way that it was it was cleaning up the situation. I feel like what this is, is that you were always doing the emotional labor in certain relationships. Um, and it's like these other people that you were dealing with were kind of sleeping on it a little bit, right? Like they're not, they're, they're asleep. And I feel like you tried to compensate in these relationships by doing a lot of the work, right? Because with the seven of pentacles reversed, they, there, nothing was going to come of this situation. It had run its course. And I felt like, or I feel like, um, that's weird. I felt like, <laughs> um, okay. Whew. I feel like <clears throat> there's an element to which you were always trying to move forward in the situation, always trying to communicate openly and honestly. And I feel like you were met with a lot of, with the Knight of Swords, a lot of resistance, maybe people stonewalling you, people running away from the conversation. Um, we got this kind of like greaser look going on here. So maybe this, the people you were dealing with were not very emotionally available. We're not, you know, we're not awake essentially. And I feel like whatever situation you were in, <clears throat> um, has kept you limited because it's taken up a lot of your energy for something that ultimately won't yield anything for you. Um, so I feel like this is what you've been in. <clears throat> and now you're getting this opportunity with, you know, page of wands, soulmate, and this like endings kind of, kind of energy, you're getting the opportunity to move into something different. <clears throat> with the Five of Pentacles reversed, the opportunity to move into something more reciprocal. With the Six of Cups, this is also past life energy, soulmate energy, as well as like childhood. Um, so there's an opportunity to heal childhood wounds as well as to connect with a, a significant soulmate or somebody you have past lives with. And with the Page of Wands, um, this is something where, you know, I always think about the Page of Wands. He's always, you know, the pages are the child archetype. So they're, they're learners. They're in that kind of beginner's mindset. But the Page of Wands is so endearing because the Page of Wands is so enthusiastic and excited. To me, the Page of Wands has a little bit of that wanderlust. Like they just want to get out there and explore and try things. And they're not, they're not afraid of anything. Um, and so what I feel like Spirit is talking to you about is that whatever this new cycle is, oh, there's a cute little ant on my desk. Um, whatever this new cycle is that's coming in for you, um, that has either, that's either recently begun or is about to, about to emerge, um, the best way to clean this up and clean your energy up regarding this is to kind of come to terms with the fact that whatever has fallen away or is falling away was limiting you in some way, even if that way is not obvious to you yet, um, and will be revealed later, to understand that whatever is falling away is has been limiting to you and that you are coming into alignment with things that are more of the soul. You might be coming into alignment with a soulmate or coming into alignment with a new home. Um, but there's something where you're going to, you're going to be either taking next steps forward or like on your path with somebody or taking next steps forward on your path that will bring you to people. And it doesn't just have to be romantic, but bring you to people who really see you, who truly um, you know, want to create harmony with you, who, who see your, like, who see you for who you authentically are, the heart and soul, and that effort, that communication, that investment will not be wasted, and it will, in fact, be mirrored back to you. So, I want to pull you a couple of cards of advice before I let you go for the day. Okay, wow. Um, so, we have <laughs> judgment reversed. 
we have the Four of Cups reversed, the Queen of Cups, yes, 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 and the Magician reversed. So Mercury energy, uh, Gemini, Virgo going on, and um, water energy. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sorry, this retrograde is getting me. <clears throat> yeah, this is saying this is a turning point in your life. A, a very big cycle has ended or is ending in order for a new one to begin. And you are ready for this is really what I'm getting. Um, what I feel like is that you've manifested this, like you, whether you were consciously aware of this or not, you have manifested this. Um, and I feel like there is, there is hesitation a little bit with the Four of Cups reversed <clears throat> to accept this. I think, I feel like you see the value, but there's a little bit of fear of like, you know, is this in alignment with me? Is this going to be healthy for me? Is this, you know, is this going to match me? And I feel like this is saying that you're, what you're being brought into is going to honor you, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. The Queen of Cups is very emotionally um, mature, very nurturing, very warm. And this is the energy you're bringing to the table. And I feel like whatever you're heading toward, this is really encouraging you to stay in your power and know that anything that's being brought to you from this point on out is meant for you. Anything that's falling away is meant to leave your path. And I feel like it's a very, it's a time of a lot of faded change because you're ready for it. You've done the work. And the judgment card reverse can really talk about the need to trust your judgment as well as trust your path, trust this turning point, because this is a major shift in your life. And it's time is really what I'm hearing. So I think that is just about everything that I have for group one. I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you need help with your specific situation, please feel free to check out my shop link in the description box below. Other than that, it's been a joy and honor and a delight to get to read for you. And I can't wait to read for you again in the future. I'm wishing you the best, the brightest, the most beautiful things that life has to offer. And I'm going to move to group two. Bye, guys. you okay um so what do you need to clean up uh for you guys it's really interesting because like group one was the ace of wands um <clears throat> and for you guys like so for, for them because the ace of wands was more the imagery on it was um like this was the image on their card it was like more of this like new beginning that they're kind of trying to navigate for you guys um the ten of wands is usually about the ending of a cycle a really difficult burdensome cycle uh but i don't feel like you guys are at the end yet i feel like i'm always kind of like smack dab in the middle what needs to be cleaned up for you guys is all the responsibilities you're taking on look how chaotic this is right um you may have bitten off more than you could chew in terms of like things that you have agreed to do. But I also feel like this is you taking on other people's stuff. You might identify as like an empath or a clairsentient, but you're taking on other people's energy way too much. And I feel like um, like there might be a little bit of this energy of kind of like a rescuer, like you want to help people and that's not a problem, but you may have accidentally kind of taken on more than is yours to carry. And I, I almost feel like whoever you're dealing with They've gotten used to this to the point where they they kind of rely on you. Um, sorry, I was shifting in my chair. Ah, my chair started rolling away. Um, yeah, it's like they rely on you or like they, they have taken for granted that their burdens have kind of become your burdens. And as a result, I feel like you are kind of becoming overtaxed here with too many people's stuff. Um, yeah yeah that's the biggest thing i'm getting um so let's see what we get here because i'm gonna pull tarot as well but that's just your initial signifier so you have where do i want to start with this where do i want to start let's start here you have yeah freedom and even just look at this image all these like little angels are around her and i know that this is supposed to be like angels of support um but like she's like yo i just want to chill here with my boobs out like stop <laughs> but like no it's like there's a bunch of people I even like how her hands are up where she's like all right everybody shut the hell up like 
this is a situation where I feel like a bunch of people are asking you for help all the time. A bunch of people are leaning on you all the time. And it's kind of like become too much. Even this little angel is holding onto her leg, like, please don't go. And there's more in the background. So like you might have a lot of responsibilities at this time. And some of them, you know, are legitimate. Like if you're if you're a parent, that's that's you know, that's what you got to do. But there may be other things that you have like taken on without realizing it. Or like maybe you agreed to help people, uh, you know, initially, like in the initial stages of a project or at work. And it's like, okay, cool. I'll help you this time. But now it's like almost this imp like this implication that you're supposed to be helping them all the time. And it's kind of like, it's, it's that sort of like muddy boundary where it's like, it wasn't officially stated. Um, but I feel like with the blue here as well, it's like, like you're only half in your truth or like <clears throat> there, there's, there's something else that needs to be expressed here. Let's see what other cards you get because I'm having trouble finding the words. <clears throat> so you have, oh, spiritual career, card 78 that reduces to a 15, which reduces to a six. Doo -doo -doo. You have seek. Um... The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy. I oh, were just talking about that. And every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. Okay. Oh, we have serendipity. Woohoo. This is card 18, so that reduces to a nine. Let me see if I can move this over for you. Oh, God. And... <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, we have not for you. This is card six. And this little fortune cookie says, nope. Okie dokie. All right, so for a lot of you, whenever I get spiritual career, this kind of means several things to me. One of which is that this can be talking about your spiritual calling, your career path, your life purpose. Um, so for some of you, you're, this is this is unfolding at work, like I said, where you have a lot of responsibilities. For some of you, you're really seeking your purpose and you're connecting to it more. Um, and there is this desire to move toward it, but there is this concern that you have too many other responsibilities, right? Um, and that this thing is not for you. Um, oh, didn't, didn't mean to bump the desk that this, like, this opportunity is not for you. Um, with the message on this card, you know, everything is made up of energy um, and that we are all connected to one another. This even can be where you have a lot of energetic ties with people that you haven't severed. And I'm not saying you have to do cord cutting. I know everybody has mixed feelings on that. But just, like, protecting your energy. So there could be people that are kind of, like, pulling on your energy a lot. Sometimes, like... Um, we can give our energy to people by just like spending a lot of time ruminating about it, like a situation with them, a lot of time thinking about it instead of redirecting our energy. And that's just like a learned practice, right? It's like, like anything else, it's a skill set. Um, but until you've gathered that skill set, it can be really hard to kind of like carry other people's energy. This is another reason why I'm feeling like this pile, if you pick this pile, you might identify as like empathic or clairsentient because there's this like feeling here, this vibe of like, really struggling to really struggling to kind of separate well like figure out where you end and other people begin and i feel like it's making it hard for you to move forward in certain areas of life particularly with your life purpose or calling or your career um but you know the long and short of this so far is how to you know how do we clean this situation up by taking back your energy and focusing on what it is that you desire. Um, we have a little butterfly image here as well. So I do feel like you're going through this period of transformation right now. Um, and I feel like this is leading you closer to your life purpose, right? With serendipity, you might be getting an opportunity soon to do something different. And your, your team is bringing this to your attention now in order to kind of clear your energy a little bit. Because with not for you, I'm getting very strongly that this is, this is really speaking to you know, we have like the, the chess pieces. This almost makes me think of like light and shadow. This is really speaking to finding balance between your light and shadow sides, but also finding balance between what is yours to deal with and what is what is not, right? Like how to stay in your light and avoid other people's shadow. And it's not a, it's not a bad thing to want to help people, not at all. Um, but there need to be good boundaries. And especially the more you do identify as like empathic or clairsentient, the harder it is to 
establish those boundaries, both to understand them for yourself and then to enact, like, like set up parameters, right? Whether this is like cleansing your energy all the time, protecting your energy, um, you know, taking some, this is like hermit card energy to me. So maybe taking time alone um, and setting up a good routine of balancing time alone and time with others. But there's something here about really needing to manage your energy because I feel you've been, you've both taken on too much and you've been given too much. And there's a need to clear all this stuff out. And again, really like push away what's, oh, I almost knocked my coffee, my coffee over. I would have been so sad. Um, really clear away what's not yours to deal with because I do feel like, I do feel like spirit's trying to bring you something in the near future, like a bit of a lucky break, um, <clears throat> but it will require having like a, a clear energy field. Um, so I am going to pull tarot, but I want to give it a little shot. I cut the deck. We have the three of wands and the hermit. Yup. Oh, we just talking about baby squirrels. Yep. It's true. Okay. I want to do a little, you know, we're going to get, get chaotic with it. Ooh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Boom. All right. I'm going to shoe full. Nice. I don't know why I wanted to do that. We're just, we're going to get spicy. Um, I'm noticing, too, we have the number six coming out twice because this ultimately reduces down to a six. So there needs to be balance. Six is a number of unconditional love. And again, I feel like you give your love, your energy, your time to people so much that there's a need to call some of that back um and to be able to yeah to be able to call back because for you guys I'm getting almost this energy of like oh I spend a lot of time alone I don't know you know where this is coming from I you know I don't like over give to people anymore like this has this energy of like I'm a recovering codependent like I don't do what I used to do. I don't do that anymore but there's something here about like watching your mental and emotional energy that you, so like if you spend a lot of time thinking about somebody or you do like, um, let's say you like to do some like magic, if you like to do spells to help other people heal, things like that, that counts as energy you're putting toward other people. So just to be mindful of the balance of the energy you give to others versus the energy you give to yourself. Um, yeah. I'm gonna flip this though. Ooh, okay. Shuffling, not my strong suit. That's okay. I'm so glad you guys are here today. I'm feeling the vibes. Yeah, King of Swords. There's something about this need to be in, like, the master of your mental realm, right? And even look at this, like, kebab he's got going on there. Like, there's a lot happening, right? There's a lot of shit stacked up here. Um, but he's not even looking. He doesn't even care. He's just focusing on what he's going to do next. So there's this energy of, like, really needing to get very clear, very decisive, very, I'm hearing concise, like, so maybe consolidating something. This is, like, your, again, mental energy is really what I'm getting here. Um, I'm hearing mental real estate, <laughs> so, wow, okay, we have the Ten of Swords, we have the Six of Swords, absolutely, yeah, here it is, mental realm, all swords so far, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man, okay, so we have Pisces energy here, the Hanged Man, <laughs> can we just talk about her facial expression, <laughs> I love this so much. Uh, so we have Pisces energy here with this, the Hanged Man. And then with the Knight of Pentacles, we have Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the cards, but I'm not gonna, you know what? I'm not going to get anal retentive about it. It's going to be fine. We're fine here. Um, so something I'm getting first and foremost with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you guys have been on this journey to start to learn to balance your energy more. Um, and your team really wants to acknowledge that. You, you know, you've been on this journey to become more grounded in your own energy. Um, I feel like with the hanged man here, there's a lot of things where um, you've kind of taken another look at it. You may have let go of some things because the hanged man with that Pisces energy can be about sacrifice. It was really interesting. I almost said this earlier and I didn't because we we're talking about the Virgo energy with the hermit. Um, and I was like, that makes sense. So the oppositional signs on the wheel of the Zodiac often share some kind of common like shadow element or traits. They share some kind of like, I call it like a quest, like it's a negotiation, right? And so both Pisces and Virgo, which are opposite one another, 
um, are signs of service to others, right? Um, in, in different ways, Virgo in a very grounded kind of earthly real world way. Um, and Pisces in a much more emotional and spiritual kind of way. Um, but the, the shadow side both signs can kind of have is sometimes overextending themselves or kind of like ending up in, in almost like, um, like a frustrated or kind of martyr like energy because they've overextended themselves in the name of service. And then, um, that doesn't come back to them. Right. Um, and there's a lot of reasons for this and I won't go into my whole rant right now. Um, but that can be, you know, just something that they have to work out. The thing that both of them have to learn, um, in their own ways is to, is to find a healthy balance between how much they serve others and how much they serve themselves. Um, and so it's interesting, we kind of have both showing up here because this is very much the energy, but this is the, the Piscean energy here can speak to a sacrifice. So I do feel like you guys have been on a journey where you're, <clears throat> excuse me, where you're learning to take a second look at things in your life. Um, and you know, I'm almost getting here with like, with the underwear and the guy here it's like you you're learning you've been learning to air out your dirty laundry <laughs> like i don't know why i'm getting that to like air out your dirty laundry about your relationships like you're really bringing them out into the light and looking at what's working for you and what's not and i feel like you've taken the initiative to look at people in your life from a new perspective to see if they if they still kind of stack up if they they should be a part of your you know, your daily life. And your team wants to acknowledge that you've been working really hard on that. Um, and you know, the Knight of Pentacles indicates a slow journey. This is something that takes its time. This is, you know, so this is why I say like, oh, I feel like you're kind of like halfway through. There's this, this energy here of working toward this. So they want to acknowledge your steady progress. Um, because with the Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords, this is, you know, first of all, we have two swords cards. So this is that mental energy we we're talking about. But this is like ultimate betrayal, right? This is where, this is like Dark Knight of the Soul territory. This is where you've been stabbed in the back. So I feel like for many of you, and we have two tens here, and these are the two least positive tens in the tarot. Um, I feel like for many of you, you've been in this situation where, um, especially to I'm really drawn to the multiple faces. You may have been dealing with people who are like kind of two-faced and even like she's like, bye. <laughs> like um, it's just people who are inconsistent, people who have been a little bit manipulative, who may have stabbed you in the back. Um, you know, this is like I said, the ending, but it's utter bitter betrayal. Bit, utter bitter betrayal. There we go. Oh, wow. That was tough. Um, and this is what I feel like you are in the process of healing from, and your team does want to acknowledge that you're doing a good job with it. Um, but I almost feel like there, this is, you may have started to kind of unknowingly revert back to some of this energy, or for some of you, this is like you, you know, you had the situation, so you excised somebody in order to, you know, the Six of Swords is about cutting your losses in order to find peace of mind, right? In order to kind of find some type of clarity, some type of understanding, and to be able to ultimately move forward. And I feel like you're in this transitional place where you may have cut somebody out of your life, but you're still you're still mentally holding on to them um, in some way, shape, or form. Um, and like I said, this could be about like ruminating. This could be... Uh, I want to clarify this because I'm really curious. How is this presenting itself? They're still in your energy, which is exactly the, the thing. Like, you're still carrying the weight of this, this situation, this person. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull one more. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, and the emperor is reversed at the bottom. So, Aries energy could be present. So... We have the Four of Cups reversed, the Nine of Wands reversed, and the Queen of Wands reversed. You may be a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. But there's this energy where the way this can still be kind of affecting you is that I do feel like, I feel like you're having trouble discerning what is kind of like a diamond in the rough opportunity, like where to invest your energy a little bit, right? Um so maybe this is something where there's a good opportunity and you don't really see it because the four of cups upright is like you're being offered this thing and you're kind of like, eh, I don't know. Um, 
especially with the three cups here and the three people here, this may have had to do with like a friend group or like people who you thought were your friends and they just ended up kind of stabbing you in the back. So there might be this like back and forth kind of energy about like, especially with not for you of like, you know, is this the path that I take? Is it not? Like, do I invest in the situation? Do I not? And with a nine of wands reversed coming out, I feel like this is something where it's really interesting, right? Because she's in like this nice dress and she's climbing this ladder, but she's carrying this like cleaning materials with her, right? Um, and there's this energy where I feel like you're ascending, you're, you know, you're, you're coming into this queen of wands energy, but you're still carrying some of this with you in some way, shape or form. Like, this is a really interesting energy. Sorry, I'm trying to hone in on this. This feels like there's something where it's like carrying around what I'm really getting is carrying around fear. It's like this this healing hasn't fully taken place, right? Because you've lost a lot and you've had to sacrifice a lot in order to go through this transformation. Um, and there's this energy where I almost feel like, like new people and situations that come into your life, you're like very hesitant about. So it's, again, it's carrying your past experiences in your energy field in a major way and i feel like that's what's pulling on your energy um you know this also too can be because i'm looking at all of these and i'm looking at spiritual career the demands that other people have for you so you might be in this process of ascension and of healing but it's taking you in a different direction and you know the hangman's always followed by the death card so it's taking you in a different direction than what people wanted for you and there might be this little bit of like back and forth where it's like I want to go in this you know this new direction but I you know it's going to be such a struggle such a fight and I, I don't know if I have the energy and what the the main message here however this might resonate for you is that there's really this need to um get really clear on what it is that you want and to be very confident in what you want and to really clear your energy. Energy clearance is very important here. So however you like to do that, maybe working with certain crystals, um, meditating, taking like cleansing ritual baths, you know, I want to pull more cards. I'm sorry. I'm nosy. I'm like really intrigued by this energy, but I want to, I want to understand. Uh, yeah, here we go. And we have the moon at the bottom. So there's a need here, and especially where she's asleep, there's like a need here, A, I feel for rest. Um, but there's something here about like, not being able, excuse my burp, to see everything clearly. So we have the page of wands reversed, the knight of swords upright, the seven of pentacles reversed, and the emperor reversed. Um, yeah, it's like, I feel like this is what's, this is what you're holding on to is that there might be there might be situations in the past that you've invested into that really haven't worked out um, and that you were really excited and enthusiastic about. Um, and I feel like this has to do with this like emperor reverse type person. This is somebody who can be demanding, controlling, um, somebody who's kind of not super stable. Sorry, I'm noticing in this deck, the Emperor is card three. That's really interesting because usually it's card four. Um, this might be somebody who had a hard time effectively expressing themselves, somebody who could be kind of cutting with their words, especially with the Six of Swords always following the five. I feel like it's like this, this, these people and what they want from you and what they thought you should be doing. It's like everything they ever had to say is kind of echoing in your head. And I feel like this is what's making it hard for you to move forward on your path. This might make it hard for you to get in touch with your intuitive nudges. This might make it so you're like, you're doubting yourself and your path moving forward. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of pull of these other people in your energy field that needs to be dealt with because these people have I feel caused you a lot of suffering caused you some really painful endings and it's been a struggle to extricate yourself um from this situation but you've been making steady progress if these people are trying to come back in this might be kind of um a sign to create significant boundaries and space and distance with not for you again please always do what you feel is best for you but just what I'm seeing here um, because you've grown with the Queen of Wands, you've really grown here. 
um, and you are headed towards something better. But I do feel like this could be a situation where like people come back into your life or try to, um, you know, insinu insinuate themselves into your life more. And there's just like a lot of complication and drama. Um, or like, you know, seeing them again, talk to them again, trying to reestablish some kind of relationship just creates this massive amount of emotional dysregulation. So, you know, like, let's say you haven't talked to, let's say it's a friend, you haven't talked to them for a year, they come back into your life and all of a sudden you're, you know, you're filled with doubt, you're feeling like you should, you know, you need to answer their every beck and call, you need to clear your schedule to make time for what they want to do. It like, it whatever this is, this feels like this, when you're thinking about it, when you're engaged with it, when you're talking to this person, however this person's energy or these people's energy <clears throat> affects you in whatever level of connection you have still, it it throws you off, it overburdens you, and it makes it so you don't have any emotional, mental, or energetic room to take on anything new. And this is difficult because there is something coming in for you that your team wants you to be ready for. I'm curious what that thing is. What is this, this opportunity that's coming in? Ooh, okay. Knight of Cups. So there's a much better emotional opportunity. This could be a love opportunity, somebody who's very romantic, very sweet. But this is also like a proposal of some kind that you're going to love. So this could be like a job offer that you're like, oh my God, I've wanted to do that forever. Um, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles reversed. And not the Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers. They were both reversed, but I do just kind of want to... Sometimes reversals to me could talk about incoming energy. Um, so these three together, there's something really beautiful. This is likely about love. This is something where... Yeah, whatever this is, this could be career, this could be love, but this is something where you have the opportunity for a lot of stability and longevity and a lot of happiness, but it does require you choose with what is true to you in the heart space. And I feel like whatever this other energy is, it's like, yeah, eight of cups reverse. You've invested a lot into this situation or this person in the past, um, but it's not really helping you anymore. It's not helping you grow. It's just keeping you kind of stagnant and it's time to extricate yourself from that situation in all in all ways you know energetically mentally emotionally to finally find peace like true peace um however that may manifest in your situation so i think that's just about everything i have for group one i or excuse me group two i hope this has been helpful if you need help with your specific situation please feel free to check out my shop link in the description box below um yeah thank you so much for being here and i think i'm gonna move to group three thanks guys bye hi group three okay so let me see. Your signifier card was the six of wands. Now I am going to be pulling more tarot, but this was kind of, this was for you guys. So, you know, whatever this situation is, how to, how to clean this up. Um, I feel like for you guys, you guys might be my entrepreneurs, my creatives. Um, I'm really drawn into the feather duster because in this deck, this was on the ace of wands card, which is actually the signifier for group one. So if you couldn't decide between the two, those might have something to do with one another. Um, I'm kind of, I'm not feeling a huge connection to energy. We'll see what else comes out. But I do feel like there is this project. And I feel like for you guys, first and foremost, with all the people peeking in the window, um, the first thing that I'm kind of getting in order to clean this situation up is be mindful of who you're sharing your energy with in all senses of the word. So if you have a creative project, be mindful who you're sharing that with. If you want to have collaborators, be conscientious of you know who you're working with, right? What their vision is, what their goals are, what kind of uh, what kind of way they like to do their work. You know, um, just be super mindful because I do feel like you're creating something where a bunch of people are going to start to be taking notice of what you make and how you work and they're going to want to work with you and you have to be very discerning about who um who gets that opportunity um i don't know this is weird i don't know i just heard the word scammers so if you're like if you have something online or you make content um you might get a lot more people starting to try to copy your content so the longer you know you can keep it kind of under wraps and i'm not saying you know you have to be like suspicious or fearful of everyone but the longer you can kind of keep your 
plans under wraps, the better. Um, because I do feel like you've got something really good on your hands and people are going to be taking note. Um, but you have a lot of, yeah, you have a lot of success that's coming your way soon. So the best thing to do to, to kind of clean up your energy is to really limit who, uh, what hands touch your work, essentially. Um, so let's see what else you get, because I'm curious. Oh, nice. I love this card. Spiritual Partnership. This is card 27, so that reduces to a 9. Yes. You've ground yourself. Uh, being distracted, yeah, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you are ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with divine source. Um, you have guardian angel. Yes, you do. I love this card. That's nice. Just fixing this for us. Ooh, a change in the winds. This is card 12 that reduces to a three. I like it. I like it. Woof. Okay. Higher power. Card four. So there's a, dare to be honest, there's a shit ton of spiritual energy here. I like it. Um, I'm trying to make, you know what? I'm never going to be able to put these level and even. That's fine. So for a lot of you, um, I feel like you've got, you got something that you're working on. This is something that's growing. Um, so for some of you, grounding might be important to help ground your ideas with all the birds. You have a lot of spiritual downloads and messages coming in. Um, so grounding yourself might be really helpful. There's the key over her third eye area. Um, so I do feel like you're being given the answers intuitively. You have a specific guide, possibly a guardian angel that works with you a lot. And right now you might be in this place because her hands are covering her face where you're kind of, you know, overwhelmed, frustrated, tired. So also could be something where because she's covering her face, this is just something that you don't see yet. Um, but I feel like you have a, what I feel like is, I feel like you have like a, an idea that's really starting to take root and come to fruition and blossom, or this is like an idea that you already had and it's turning into something bigger than you expected, right? A change in the winds. There is something, there is something happening for you and it's like, like you, you feel it, but you might not fully see it. There's a, it makes me think of this. I might butcher this, so I apologize, but this expression, uh, a physician told me once where she was like, you know, we have a saying in medicine where if you hear hoof beats, you look for a horse, not a zebra. Um, and it was something where I had like this little medical anomaly and she's like, you, my dear, are a zebra. And I'm like, oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said. <laughs> um, but that, I always think about it when I see zebras now, um, is that this might be something where you're expecting a horse and bam, it's a zebra. And I feel like this is something where with spiritual partnership, A, this could talk about you working with your spirit guides to kind of help ground this idea. I definitely see this. But this might also be where you have a collaborator who wants to help you make something. I'm hearing build something. And this might seem, this might end up being bigger than you expected because look how, look how ginormous this tree is and like how well established the root system is. This is something that has like 10 of pentacles kind of energy. But this is something that, it, it's like it's bigger than what your current vision is for this thing. And this is why I think it's very important to be very uh, cautious and conscientious about who you share your project with as it develops. Um, yeah, I want to know more about this. Excuse my burp. I'm just giving the cards a shuffle because I feel like they should. And then I'm doing the lazy shuffle. I already shuffled it before I started, but I want to make sure I'm giving it another shuffle. I'm also just not great at shuffling. This might be a creative partnership too as well with the purple and orange. It's a spiritual and creative partnership because the six of wands can talk about being in the spotlight. Um, especially for creative projects, and I'm definitely seeing that potential here. Whatever is being brought to you is absolutely divinely guided and feels like it's part of your life path. So let's get more information about this. I want to take this one too. 
Um, yeah, Three of Pentacles. There's a spiritual partnership here. That's the definition of this card. I feel like this person coming in is also going to be a similarly hard worker and is going to want to work on this project as much as, you, as, much as you're going to want to. So we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Oh, okay, the Eight of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups reverse. And the Three of Wands. Interesting, okay. So Knight of Pentacles, we have Masculine Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Queen of Cups, we have um, Feminine Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Any of those signs could apply. I'm almost getting... So this is something where with these two cards, right? The Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. Um, this is something where this is part of your craft. Look at her cracked out expression. I'm sorry. I love it. This is part of your craft, right? This is something... <coughs> You have, um, you may have already practiced a lot or you will practice a lot. This is something that is part of, that's part of your calling. Um, and I feel like this is something where you worked very, very hard, um, both on yourself leading up to this and possibly on this idea, right? And like its inception. And with the three of wands, your ships are coming in because of your hard work, um, I'm almost getting with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. This may be somebody who you've tried to work with in the past. Both of these people could be. Um, if so, the Knight of Pentacles reverse would be somebody who is inconsistent. Somebody, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> Ooh, I'm sorry. Somebody who's inconsistent. Somebody who, um, you know, might seem really steady at first it's like they like to take it slow they seem like they have a good plan like a very grounded plan but they never actually come through they never fully show up um or you know it's like their plan only works if it's done their way right it's very like stubborn because the knight of pentacles reverse to me is like you're going nowhere fast right like you're you're kind of yeah it, it's you're investing a lot into something and it still doesn't really go anywhere right so this might which, you know, usually only happens when something seems like it has promise. Um, so this might be something where it's like this person seem like they'd be a good fit, seem like they have promise, they seem like they know what they're talking about. <coughs> Excuse me. But ultimately, like, he's just standing on the one pentacle. It's like, ultimately, this is all they can do. This is this is the only place that they, they're at. And, right, like, he's got the lawn on the... Oof, back up, Sinatra. He's got the lawnmower, but there's no grass. It's like, if, <laughs> you know... He could do this thing, and he'd be great at that thing, but that's not what we're really talking about here. This may be somebody who you've been working on a project with in the past, and now you want to go in a different direction. It's kind of like, oh, shoot, I don't know if this person's going to be able to really make that leap with me. I could definitely see that here. Um, you know, in the Queen of Cups reversed, if this is a, somebody else that you're dealing with, this could be somebody who um, I'm almost getting really struggles with constructive feedback so it's really hard to like um augment any of their suggestions or their ideas right they almost take it really personally if you're like okay well you you brought this idea up and i like that but you know would you consider tweaking it this way or what if we did this part of it a little bit this way and it's like this person really struggles to to be able to hear that without getting hurt feelings even if you say it very kindly this person really struggles to take any other suggestions because it's like it's they have very like tender emotions about it i'm really drawn into the glass as well so this could be somebody who might be more focused on on like partying sometimes um even though it's not usually the meaning of the queen of cups but i'm really drawn into that this could be somebody who might be more focused on partying than um you know, then showing up and, and doing the work consistently. So these could be people that you've dealt with in the past. These also could be people around you who want to participate, right, um, in your project. I would say in this situation, anybody that you, you have, like, trust your intuition right now, anybody you have, like, kind of like, eh, I don't know, vibes about, I would say keep it to yourself, um, you know, and obviously trust your own intuition, um, heed your own inner counsel above that of all others, including myself. But this feels like anything where, because all these people are on the other side of the window, anything where it's anything less than, you know, a, a mind, body, spirit, hell yes, hold off on telling people about this because you've got a good idea on your hands. You have something really, really important. You have something really good. And I feel like you're ready to do the work. You're willing to do the work. You're willing to make your plans. You're willing to wait and be patient and your ships will come in. <clears throat> I'm 
and so like this is really this feels to me about like really watch who you're who you're partnering with who you're sharing things with i want to know more about the spiritual partnership okay i'm not gonna take this i hadn't asked yet I'd like to know more about the spiritual partnership please and thank you okay okay wow it's a shitload of cards um all right i'm gonna jesus okay that's fine so page of wands reversed the chariot yes the moon reversed yes six of swords love it six of pentacles reversed interesting and the tower okay three major arcanas here with the moon we have cancer and pisces energy represented the chariot we have cancer's energy um page of wands this could be fire energy aries leo sag I feel like this is something where this hasn't begun yet, right? To me, this is like the beginning of a journey. Um, this situation hasn't begun yet. This person's not in your life yet, I don't feel. This person will be coming in. This person could be coming in in Cancer season. This person could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Or have that prominent in their chart. This person is like, you guys are headed towards success together. You guys, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I like that you have risk and gain in here. This person has a good balance, I feel, between when to take a risk and when to play it safe. Um, this person, you and this person are going to play off each other very, very well. You work very, very well together. Um, <clears throat> and you're bound to reach success together to help, whether this is somebody where you work in the same industry and you both kind of like encourage each other. So even if you have your separate things, you help support each other or you have a, I feel like it's like a common shared project. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, this, you and this person are meant to create something together that's going to be very successful. I feel like with the moon reverse, this person, <clears throat> first of all, your intuition is going to tell you, like, is going to speak to you about this person when they come into your life. But this person's very upfront. This person's not trying to hide anything from you. I do feel like they have their emotions pretty well in balance. Um, you know, they've really worked through a lot of their stuff, any fears and like subconscious programming. So like they're they're going to be able to show up and be a really present person because they've done a lot of their own inner healing. So they're not bringing their baggage to the table as much and like no shame, no shade about, you know, we've all got baggage, right? But they've really done the work to heal. So they're going to be able to show up for you and be an effective person to partner with. Um, with the Six of Pentacles reverse, I think it's interesting. We have the image of the devil here. Um... Because I feel like you've dealt with people in the past that are very much like this, where it's like there's there's a lack of reciprocity, right? There's iniquity in the the giving, the flow of giving and receiving, um, and this has created a lot of imbalance and kind of created a lot of hardship that you had to um, circumvent or overcome. <coughs> Excuse me. And like these people in the past may have created a lot of tower moments for you, but I feel like this person is going to be very different with the tower coming in. This person may also um, this person may also come in out of nowhere. I really feel like they're just going to kind of pop up and it's going to be like, oh, excuse me. Like, oh, okay. Interesting. Like, it, this person's just going to come in. Um, I was looking at what you have here. So let me, I think this is just about everything I'm seeing. I want to pull you guys some cards of advice, though to close with because I do feel like this is very positive so just you know in terms of cleaning up the situation just make really sure I want to look at this but not take this the nine of swords yeah there's anxiety about this look at her <laughs> um there's anxiety about who to work with who to pick how to go about this your team is helping you out I want to look at this but not take this yeah ten of pentacles is coming in that's what I'm saying like your team is is like here to help you out um but just make sure you lean really heavily on your intuition and until you get that gut feeling of like yes i need to talk to this person i need to work with this person i need to hear what this person has to say keep things to yourself yeah the empress look at you beautiful baby the world the world and the ace of pentacles all right i'm done yeah so you're manifesting this, you are in this abundant energy, and that's why this person's coming into your life to help you with something. You are completing a cycle, but this is also a huge, like, major, this is a major thing for, for both of you. Like I said, there, there's a lot of longevity here. This is something where <clears throat> you could be achieving something with the Six of Wands in the world that is noticed and seen on like a much larger scale on a global scale but there's a lot to be had here there's a lot to be accomplished here right we have recipes for success this is 
this is a recipe for success here. And this is coming into your life, I feel not too long from now with the Ace of Pentacles, but this is gonna be a very grounded beginning. So I love this, this is great. Um, I think this is just about everything that I have for you guys today. I hope this has been helpful. If you need any help with your specific situation, please feel free to check out my shop link in the description box below. I'm wishing you the best, the brightest, the most beautiful things that life has to offer. Take care, love bugs. Bye.